Flux 2.0 just dropped and it's a game changer. Photorealistic images, perfect text rendering, exact color matching, and character consistency that actually works. If you don't want to miss the next big AI release, hit subscribe and drop a like right now. Let's dive into what's new and how to use it. So pretty much here you can see that Flux 2.0 was released on November 25th and you can see that Flux 2.0 is designed for real world creative workflows. What that actually means that this is a direct competitor to the Nano Banana from Google. And down below here, we can also see that from Flux 1 to Flux 2, the precision, efficiency, control, extreme realism, where Flux 1 showed the potential of media models as powerful creative tools, Flux 2 actually shows how frontier capability can transform production workflows. And you can see what's actually new and these are the most important changes. Now, hear me out. This model actually has multi-reference support, image detail and photorealism, text rendering is actually perfect. Then we have enhanced prompt following as well as world knowledge. They also offer here inside the Flux 2, high resolution, flexible input and output ratios and the image editing on resolution up to four megapixels. And you can see, for example, how really nicely this model actually creates the image. For example, if you want to change it, you can see here this leaf and it's changed here to the actual green color. Now, down below here, you can see that they have a lot of the models available right now. Flux 2 Pro, Flux Flex, and then we have here Flux 2 Developer. And apparently this is also another one which is open source and it's called Flux 2 Klein. And this one is based on the Apache 2.0 model. Right now, let me also show you here a brief chart. So here we have the ELO score. And on top here, you can see that Flux 2 is actually here just slightly below Nano Banana 2 here. Mention Google's Nano Banana 2 is also absolutely insane. And here we also have some of the charts, for example, text to image. We can see here win rate, the Flux 2 dev is number one. And then here on this chart for the single reference, you can see that we have also Flux 2 dev on the first place. And then multi-reference Flux 2 dev is also on the first place. However, I don't think why they didn't include here the Google Nano Banana, because maybe it would be even higher, but they pretty much put here only Flux 2 dev compared to the Quan image and Huanyan image 3.0. Now let me pretty much show you guys how you guys can actually use this tool completely for Free. And the platform, if you click here on the dashboard and what you will have to do here on this website to click on the playground and you will be here redirected to this website called Flux Playground. And with this playground, you can pretty much generate, you can even fill, expand, and here you have your own library. And down below here, you will see pretty much images from the community. And we have also free images. So pretty much if you create an account for the Flux image generator, you guys will get 50 of the free images. You can see here that I already used eight of them. And pretty much you can also use this platform completely for free for 50 images. And here pretty much on the playground under the community creations, we can see that people are actually creating some really cool images here nevertheless. For example, here we have this Discord logo in the shape of a pillow. And then we have here this zebra wearing this hair. Here on top, you will be able to actually pick this model. So Flux 2, and you can see here how many of the models there actually are. And the latest two ones are Flux 2 Flex. And then we have the Pro one as well. And here I'm going to use this one Flex. And we want to create one simple image. For example, I'm going to write here an image of the elephant driving a three cycle. So just like this. And then here we can also input the width and the height. I think I'm just going to max this two out. And here we can also click on this menu and you can see how many of the images this will actually create. I think I'm just going to go with two here because the actual generation limit, limit is 50. Now, meanwhile, this is doing its thing. We can also take a look here at the Flux 2 about what's actually really cool about this model. So one thing is here that you can actually generate assets. For example, here we have this camera with a lens and then we have this environment here on the right. Now we can also use this option to combine and compose. And you can pretty much see here right now this camera and inside this lens is actually here this environment. And then you can also use different styles. For example, here you can see that it added neon vaporwave glow to the scene. 
And this is exactly what we got here inside the Flux 2.0. And now we can go here back to the Flux Playground to see if we already got here the image. But unfortunately, it's still loading. Make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Your support, by the way, is highly appreciated. And now here we already have the generated images. Now let's click on one of them and we can see here this amazing detail on the elephant as well as here on this tricep cycle and it really nicely actually implemented implemented here the movement pattern here on the tricycle as well so we can clearly see here this blur on the elephant and then here we can also see here slight uh, track here behind the back wheel so Overall, I do think that the Flux 2.0 can really actually generate really impressive images. Now, we can also take a look here at this second image. Overall, this one is a bit less dynamic. However, I do still think this one also looks very nice for this free AI generation model. Now, pretty much here on this image, you can also edit it if you want. So let's click here on edit. And now here you are actually able to add your own image to the original image as well. So here I'm gonna click on plus, I'm gonna click here on upload because here I actually found this really nice image of a giraffe. And I think this will actually really nicely add to this original image. So here, what I will here type in for the prompt as well, add a giraffe. So just like this, and then here I'm gonna click on send. And now let's take a look here at the images. So the first image actually here, in my personal opinion, does not look very good. We can see here that the giraffe is actually here, but overall it does not look very natural to me. And then we have here on the left two of the input images, and that's pretty much what this AI image generator actually came up with. Then if we take a look here at this second image, and then here you can also clearly see that this also does not look very natural. Now we can also try the same thing here with Google Nano Banana Pro. And here I will put in the same prompt. So I'm gonna just copy the prompt here and paste it inside Google Gemini. And then here I will try to also download this image. So let's go back here and I'm going to select this image right here. So if I go here to the history, we can click on one of the images. So in this case is this one. Let's click here to download the image. And then let's go here back to the Google Nano Banana. So let's click here on upload files and I'm going to attach the same two images. So you can see that I have both of the images here loaded inside Google Nano Banana Pro and the same prompt as well. So here I'm gonna click on submit. Now this image was created here with Nano Banana 1 and in my opinion it does already look much better compared to this one from Flux 2.0. However, we can take up a notch here by using the Nano Banana Pro. So here what I will do, I will start a new chat and here I'm gonna click on create image and I will select here thinking with 3 Pro. So now we are gonna use Nano Banana Pro and we're gonna create the same image. And then I'm gonna click on submit. And now here is going to load the Nano Banana Pro and generate the image. And you can clearly see that we got here this image from Nano Banana Pro. Now, I do think that the images from Nano Banana do look very, very similar. However, they both look very natural and really nicely implemented here on one single image. Now, if you compare this to the Flux 2.0, in my opinion, we have a clear winner. Now, the image from Flux 2.0 does not look very natural. And this one from Google Gemini actually does. So we have a clear winner, which is Google Nano Banana Pro. And that is pretty much it for this video. So pretty much Black Forest Labs introduced here Flux 2.0 with its added image capabilities. But in my personal opinion, you should definitely use Nano Banana because it actually offers more impressive results. Now, with that said, I will leave a link for Flux 2.0 in the video description down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.